हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर इज आल्सो द इमीजिएट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एंड द बेसिक कंपरेटर व्हिच वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर द बेस फॉर द बेसिक कंपरेटर वी वांट टू ड्रॉ द वन ओ पैम दिट इज द इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल दैट इज द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल आई सी आउटपुट इट्स द आउटपुट ऑफ एंड द बेसिक ओ पैम सो ओ पैम सिस्टम but for this system i want to provide the input voltage to the inverting terminal right and the v reference is provided to the non inverting terminal and the both are going to the ground right so for this circuit uh, that's plus vcc and that's minus vee okay and oh one load resistance for a one load resistance rl for the output across the load resistance okay so this is the basic zero crossing detector circuit so from the basic comparator we use the v reference as a one hole but for a zero crossing detector we use the zero right we use the zero as a v reference for this system it shows us the when and where the input voltage signal crosses the zero signal okay so this is the basic uh, sine wave of our input signal and this is the complete output wave from this system so uh, as we provide the following lines we provide the inverting terminal so basically when it crosses the zero then it provides the output right and it is an inver inverting input is provided to the inverting terminal since it follows from the negative to the positive in such a system like that okay so for this system uh, the it compares the complete input voltage it compare the input voltage with the zero initially means the v in when less than that of the zero the no signal will be there but when the v in is greater greater than to zero then the output voltage will be there it shows the when and where the when what is the time for that and where on which position it crosses the v0 hence it's called as a zero crossing detector okay so but there are the two basically problems are there two problems first problem is a noise problem to the very low we compare the input voltage with the zero so there is the noise problem will be there and another problem is like that the v in is changes very slowly so at that time the, there is also the changing of the output voltage also very slowly as uh, when the input it with it follows the input to the output right so for the slow changes there are the some deviations will be there in the output system like that so to avoid this both problem that is the deviation problem and first is a noise problem and the deviation problem we want to provide the one regenerative means the one positive feedback will be there when we provide the one positive feedback that is the v reference so when we provide the one positive feedback the noise problem automatically rejected and the deviation problem is also automatically rejected by providing the regenerative or positive feedback what is the positive feedback we want to just the connect the output feedback output is feed to the positive terminal that is the non inverting terminal of an op amp hence by this system we can provide cancel the noise problem and the deviation problems and we can easily detect very calculately detect and very fastly detect the zero system hence we call it as a zero crossing detector for detecting the zero crossing of input voltage this is the very basic and the very intermediate and immediate application of and the basic comparator which we learn in the previous lecture thank you